The official Tanstack docs provide a list of several options for where you can deploy a Tanstack start website. And on this list, one of the easiest options you have to go with is deploying to AppRite sites. So let's take a look at AppRite sites, see how easy this process really is by going from start to finish and deploying our own Tanstack start website. So if you don't know what AppRite sites is, it's basically an open source alternative to Vercel or a Netlify. And the process actually looks very similar. Essentially, we're gonna push a repo up to GitHub, connect it to our AppRite Sites website and deploy it. It's an extremely simple process. And with this, we get to leverage something called the AppRite Network, which is a global network of regions and edge locations. So our users, no matter where they're at in the world, get fast load times when they're opening up our website. And once we deploy our website, we'll have a custom URL with a .appright.network extension, which of course later we can add in our own custom domain to. Okay, so the first thing we'll need is a Tanstack start website. There's a bunch of different ways we can create them. There's starter templates in the documentation, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this command right here. It's create Tanstack forward slash start, and that'll generate some boilerplate code for us. So I already have that here. So this is my project. And at this point, I already ran that command. So if you wanna follow along and do that, or if you have your own website, go ahead and run that and set up your application. So we can see this on localhost. I updated some code, we just output hello world. And from here, the next thing we need to do is create a GitHub repo. So go to github.com, create a repo. I already connect this to my local account here or set the remote. And all I need to do is essentially push this code to this repo. And from here, we're gonna go to AppRite sites and connect it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna do git push dash u origin master. Okay, so that should push my code up there. And if I refresh this, we'll see this in my GitHub repo. So that's the first step. We set up a project, we go ahead and push this to GitHub, and then we continue from here. So in the documentation, if we follow along, it shows us these steps. So connect it to our GitHub repo, and then deploy it on AppRite Sites. And we're gonna come back to a specific step here in a second. So let's go to AppRite Sites. If you don't have an account, go to AppRite.io, create an account, and there's a great free tier. So you can deploy quite a bit of websites and get good usage out of it before you ever get to a paid plan here. So in this dashboard, AppRite, of course, has way more products than just AppRite Sites, but we're going to this Sites tab here under Deploy. So first thing we'll do is create a new website, and we're going to use the connect to a repository method. And if this is your first time, you're going to be asked to go ahead and give access to your GitHub account. I already did that, so follow through with those steps and then find the repo that you just pushed. So we see this Tanstack demo right here. We'll go ahead and connect it. And from here, we just wanna configure some project settings here. So we have our project name, we have the branch that we wanna deploy. So if you have a different branch, make sure you update this. And then we have that root directory. This I'm just gonna leave as is, unless you have some more custom settings here. And it already detected that this is a Tanstack start website. So at some point, you're typically probably gonna have some environment variables. So you wanna make sure to set those. And then an important step here is gonna be the build settings. So if you use Nitro as the build adapter, if you don't know what that is, you might be fine. But if you use that, you're gonna have to change this output directory. So I'm gonna go back to the docs and show you what I mean here. So by default, when you run npm run build, it's gonna go ahead and build everything for you. And that output folder is usually in a dist folder. But if you used that command where we ran npm create tans stack, if you selected Nitro, then this is going to be a little bit different. So we'll open those up here. So here by default, it's going to be dist. If you're using Nitro V2 or V3, it's going to be output. So just double check what you have there. If you don't know, just go ahead and try both redeploy and see how your application runs. So in this case, I used Nitro here. So I'm going to do dot output and this should set my setup just fine. So most likely than not, if you clone one of the starter templates, it's probably gonna be dist, so you might leave that and make sure just leave that by default. So let's go ahead and actually deploy. So this is gonna be that domain, so we'll just call this Tanstack. So I'm gonna make my URL here. It's gonna be .appright.network as the extension, and we can click deploy from here. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes to build everything out for us. All right, and there we go. Our project has been deployed. For some reason, the preview deployment is not shown at the moment. It should be there if I refresh that, but I can now go ahead and visit this domain here. And here we go. This is a live website with the .appright.network extension. Now, let's really quickly just go back to AppRite sites. Let's close this out, and let's take a look at the dashboard if this is your first time seeing this. So here we go. Now we see that preview deployment. In our overview tab, we see all the basic settings for our project. We can see all our deployments here. We can add in a custom 
custom domain. And then here we can see any logs we have, usage. If we wanna go ahead and update some settings, this is where you would do that. So you can always update your branch that you're using, change anything here, make sure you're running the right commands. And that's how simple it is to deploy a Tanstack Start website to AppRite sites. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.